What is going on everybody? It is Fitz Miller in the LS back here with another video. Now, recently this thing, it's happened like twice where it's kind of stalled out. It, it feels like a fuel cut. And a long time ago, probably like a year and a half ago now when I had the D21, it just had a shitty rough idle. I put some Lucas injector cleaner in it, ran through like half the tank or ran it for like 15 minutes and then it, it <laughs> drove ran perfectly fine for the rest of the time that I owned it. So I'm gonna try that today with the LS400. We're gonna go to advance, pick up some of the Lucas injector cleaner. I think I'm gonna try the high mileage this time. I do need to get gas before I put that in there. So we'll do all that in just a little bit. You guys are coming along with me because I'm curious to see how this is gonna work. Also, it's a, like a weird ass day. Like it's raining, but it's, it's like chilly, so I can wear a hoodie. Available at Fitz, Dosh, Fitz Miller at Shopify for the links in the description. But listen to this LS cold start, baby. You ready? Oh, baby. Look at this, man. Who thinks to put lights in the freaking seatbelt? Like, that's crazy. This whole thing is crazy, man. I love it to death. But anyways, let's uh, enough talking. Let's go to advance. All right, so I don't think it'll do it this second, but a lot of times when I'll press the gas, it kind of it kind of dips down and then goes back up, and that's that's what had been happening when um, when the car would like stall out the whatever two times it's done it. So went to advance. Like you guys saw, we got the Lucas high mileage fuel treatment with exclusive Lucas cleaners and lubricants. Treats up to 25 gallons, gasoline only. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in the gas tank. I'm at basically a quarter tank, fill up on top of this, go drive around for a little bit, and then I'll just have to update you guys either over the next couple days or do a cold start or something tonight and just see, see how it reacts. So let's do it. Bam, big bitch. So <clears throat> it's the next day. I haven't driven around a whole lot, but it is time for lunch because I am absolutely starving. I just got done filming another video. You guys already know I'm on the grind. Um, and my grandma, I met up with my grandfather and my grandma like a week ago, she gave me a Chick-fil-A gift card. So, Frida, if you're watching this, thank you very much. We're going Chick-fil-A. Also, we'll probably drive around after a little bit to try to get this fuel gauge to move down. And this thing, it's really easy, a little bit too easy. And um, we'll see if we can get it to stall or see how it's running and idling and all that stuff. So, we'll go from there. And these giant meteor 2020 just ended already that is fucking perfect so i've done my fair share of googling about stalling high idle low idle all of it comes back to a couple things either the intake i think you call it a plenum is is dirty and then the throttle position sensor which is this one i don't know what this one is but this one i'm 99 sure uh, could be going bad and it's definitely a common Toyota Lexus problem so I don't know how to tell if this one's bad other than it not working my car idles at like 500 which is a little on the low side they say it should be 800 to 500 rpms at idle and I don't remember if that's in gear or in park but either way I think I'm gonna go to advance, see how much these are. I looked online, it was like 28 bucks. And then, you know, employee discount. And then it doesn't look too hard to replace. We have a screw on the top, screw on the bottom. Maybe I have to move some of these hoses out of the way or vacuum lines, whatever. And then um, take this little rubber piece off, unclip it, pull it out. So I don't know, something to try, I'm bored. It's about to rain, of course, but let's give it a shot. Actually, you know what? Instead of like throwing parts at this car for right now, it runs and drives perfectly other than it stalls out 
very rarely doesn't do it when it's warmed up and like i said it seems like a fuel cut so i am gonna go ahead and run this gas all the way through this tank with the injector cleaner and see what happens so i'm gonna leave this video up to you guys the audience to see if you guys can help me figure out what other things i can check so i can learn more about this car but for now i'm gonna go to coffee because i have a big ass headache and i need to go home and edit another video as well as this video and i will see you guys in the next one so thank you for your help if you comment or if you know what's going on please let me know or uh, ask your friends so this has been fitz miller and the ls400 back here with another video we will see you guys in the next one